Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry, where we give you the tools to help you navigate your life. Today we're going to be talking about the third chakra in palmistry, how to find it, where its line is, and how to tell if it's balanced, overbalanced, or how to work with it. But before we do all of that, let's talk about what this chakra is and what it means first. The name of the chakra is Manipura, and that name translates as jewel. So think of this as the gem or the jewel of your entire chakra system. Its color is yellow, and the energetic meaning of this chakra is willpower and dominance over others. So some people call this the social chakra, other people call it the power chakra. Because ultimately it really is about how you get along with other people and the environment around you. So contrast this to the two other chakras that we've talked about already. The first chakra is all about survival. The second chakra is how you get along with your mate. So that's about procreation. This chakra, the third chakra, is how you get along with your society or everyone around you. So to find the line for this chakra, I want you to look at your non-dominant hand. And it's at the bottom of the ring finger. You see that horizontal line that runs across it? Now it is rare to see a healthy line over here, so if yours isn't perfectly straight, don't worry about that, that's actually quite normal. If this line is thin to the other lines in the area, then that means that this chakra is underactive, which gives you fear and also stress and worry as well. When this line is thick, that means that the chakra is overactive. That means that you'll go to the other extreme, so you'll try to dominate others and you'll also try to impose your will on other people as well. And it also has a side effect of making you too social or overtly social. Now there are a couple things about this chakra that we should point out. Almost everyone will have some sort of break or cross on this line. It's very rare to see things otherwise. But when those breaks or crosses are there, that means that the chakra is not working right and it's not distributing its energy correctly. This will manifest physically in terms of stomach pain. So if you ever have a bad stomach or if you're under stress, you know how you always get that pain in right in the solar plexus? Well, that's your body's way of telling you that this chakra is under stress. And so you're often worried about your environment or what's happening around you. The other thing to note with this chakra is the vertical lines or the diagonal lines that run across it. These lines are great. It means that you're distributing the energy that comes into this chakra well. It's either going up to the fourth chakra or down to the second chakra. And even better than this is if you have a line that loops into the middle finger. That means that you're distributing the energy from this chakra and grounding it. And we'll get to what exactly that means later on once we do more videos in this series. So this is a chakra where most people hold their stress. And this is why when you have a bad feeling about someone, they say you have a gut feeling because that's exactly where this chakra sits. Alright guys, that's my take on this chakra. We are going to do more videos on this series and we're going to figure out how to balance all your chakras together once we get to the end of defining what these chakras are. So hit the like and subscribe button and you'll get more videos just like this. Thank you very much.